Hi and welcome, my dear orchid lovers. As promised, I am posting an update on my orchid division. Approximately four and a half months ago, I made a video about monopodile orchid propagation by division. And today I will show you what happened to my new Phalaenopsis orchids after the fact. But I would like to remind you exactly what I did. For details and specific instructions, please check out the original video. The link is below. To propagate monopodile orchids by cutting it into two new plants, I first have to choose the right plant. Then I have to make a cut in the right spot with a clean sterilized instrument. And then I have to treat the wounds with activated carbon powder to prevent rotting. And the last step is to plant these new plants into moss medium and separate pots. Now let's see what happened four months after I cut my healthy overgrown orchid in half. As you can observe, my new divided orchid plants are still alive and they're doing well. The top part of the divided orchid suffered from moderate dehydration, but this was expected because the root biomass did not grow significantly enough to satisfy the needs of the heavy top part of the plant. Normally orchids with heavy leaf biomass and insufficient root biomass will show signs of dehydration until the roots grow to provide some balance. As we can see, the bottom part of the monopodile stem developed scar tissue and grew many healthy roots. I can also see new young leaves coming from the top. And the top part of the orchid looks very firm and fine and healthy. I do need to change the substrate for this orchid as well. More fresh moss will help with supporting higher humidity levels around the roots and will generally speed up growth. The bottom part of the original orchid produced flower spikes from the stem cells at the base of the plant, and I was hoping for a new cakey orchid. I think the orchid preferred blooming because the division was made in the middle of spring. I hope when the blooming is over, the bottom part will be forced to form and develop cakey. My blooming bottom part of the divided orchid has a really good and healthy root system and exhausted substrate with depleted nutrients. So I think it's a good time to change the substrate. Here is some fresh moss substrate. We have sphagnum moss and hypnum moss. The main conclusion I can make from this is that it is truly possible to propagate my Phalaenopsis orchids by simply cutting them into two separate plants. Just follow the instructions in the original video and try it out for yourself. That is all for this update, but I will make another one in a few months, so please make sure to subscribe so you don't miss that. Thank you so much for watching.